Are master engineers any good? Well, one of you asked me to do a video on these since I keep mentioning how they help a ranged dwarf lineup. Let's dive in and see how tradition and modernity both fare. Please like, subscribe, comment, and donate OathGo to my Ko-Fi treasure. But your feelings are worth gold in and of themselves. Figuratively, of course. Costing 1,000 to recruit in campaign for 250 upkeep, the Master Engineer begins at 3,908 health, with a burly 120 armor, 15% missile resistance like most characters would, and 35% spell resistance. Leadership is a titanic 72. See what I did though. And speed is 32, not bad for a dwarf. Melee attack is 38 base with an attack interval of 4, nothing terrible. Splash size is medium with a maximum of 5 targets damaged, which is respectable, but nothing more. Melee defense is 30, thus making playing melee is not this hero's strength. Weapon strength is 280, split between 60 base and 220 armor piercing, so armor piercing melee is a real boon hero, allowing him to contribute even under the worst conditions. Charge bonus is 12, and mass is 1100. Range, the Master Engineer has 45 ammo by default with a range of 180, boasting 300 missile strength with 60 base damage and 180 armor piercing per hit with this handgun style weapon, and rocking a reload time of 8, inflating our damage numbers. Total accuracy is a brain bursting 80, without an orc shaman anywhere in sight. Calibration distance is 150, amazing as well, and calibration area is a nice and tight 2. Right out of the mines, the Master Engineer can use Restock to buff up ammunition for a unit, has the Entrenchment Augment to grant 20% physical resistance and plus 40% armor piercing missile damage, and for free, gets extra powder, the Passive, offering plus 10% to both types of missile damage in a 35 meter radius. The Hero's Embedded Army ability is increased mobility to a max of plus 15% over what the Hero provides as a base value. His Campaign Map Passive is Increase Income, which can be boosted to plus 6% income above your base. The style of abilities for the rest is Steel Technology, Wound, and Block Army, with the ever-present Specialist to lower the cost of these agent actions. For personal boosts, Ancestral Grudge increases weapon strength, as in melee, by 15% against green skins. Flash Bomb is an active ability with a 90 second cooldown, short range, 16 second duration, 60% speed debuff and minus 24 to melee attack during that time, so it's an anti-cavalry, anti-monster, anti-grimgore ability. Resolute has up to 15 flat charge bonus, Relentless has up to 15% speed, Rune of Grimnir has 10% more missile resistance. For your first dedicated line, break open the, break open the caskets increases the number of uses of restock and reduces cooldown by 15%, basically turning him into an ammo box spawn point for a single unit, but just more times in a battle. Requisition as a maximum of plus 20% ammo for all units in the army. Triangulation as a maximum of plus 12% missile strength to that army. Overseer as a max of plus 40% to the leadership aura size. Sapper adds plus 15% max speed to all missile units in the army. Finally, Zufbar 42 Pounders creates an army ability giving an anti-armor raking bombardment which the Vampire Coast also receive. In the second dedicated line, which locks off the third, Dead Eye grants the hero himself only plus 15% range. Hand Loaded increases his personal missile strength by up to 20%. Bare Essentials strips 30 armor from this hero and adds 20% speed and grants stock which mirrors what you can get from the Chaos Dwarf equivalent. Ballistics Calibration is the active ability that creates a bubble of plus 60 accuracy and plus 20 reload skill, similar to what a Gunnery White or Warlock Engineer can do. Barak Var Handshake adds so-called Sharpshooter ammunition for more range and anti-infantry awesomeness. For the third line, which locks off the second, Grudge Raker adds Grudge Raker ammunition, which basically turns the weapon into a blunderbuss. Carry a big stick adds Cause Fear and Vanguard Deployment, which I recognize more and more from my Chaos Dwarf playing. Percussive Maintenance adds a max of plus 20% hit points and plus 12 melee defense to the heal. Substantial bonuses, and remember, you still have the 120 armor for this lock. 
technical enhancements adds a max of 15 more armor and plus 40 armor piercing damage to your melee weapon. Finally, you get Cinder Blast Shell, a magic missile attack, meaning it should perform better in 4.1, and does some nice burst damage, 3 uses with a 90 second cooldown. So now that we've gone through the awesomeness, how you use these heroes comes down to their basic army boosting potential, plus what you can do in battle with them directly. Clearly, you can use them as long-ranged sniper commandos or as buff-the-line boosters, and pairing them with dedicated anti-armor missiles like organ guns or thunderers is ideal. Even without that, just having them close to other units jacks up their damage even more, along with all the other boosts they provide. Plus, Ballistics Calibration, if that's your style of choice, is fantastic for a sudden burst of front-loaded damage that's more accurate than the rest. In other words, they're only near useless in a dwarf army without ranged. What heresy would that be? And even then, they can fight as individuals. You can only hope that they can do devastating damage against infantry blobs and particular lord, hero, and monster threats when the grog is running dry. Well, with Master Engineers around, the ammo will not run dry very often for your most critical units. As special as these units are in battle, you'd love to steal some technology and get your research going too, but to be honest, I have a cursed existence when it comes to that stuff. Critical failures left and right. The more reliable way is to just use them to buff your armies a ton and crush your enemies that way. Even if it's just using the flash bomb, these guys pay for themselves. Take care and have fun sniping Skylanterns of the air. They're annoying and they have it coming.